In this video, we're going to take a look at a few tips when adding in the second floor. First of all, I need to activate the second floor plan. So over here in the project browser, I'm going to double click on second floor. You can see the exterior walls right now. Notice that you can't see anything that's on the first floor. Now there's no floor separating that yet. As you can see, as I'm looking down in the 3D view, I can still see all that information. But when I'm on the second floor plan, I'm only able to see things on the second floor up to the view range, which is four feet, four feet above the ground. So all that stuff is down below. If I want to create some walls that line up with the walls below, then I want to be able to see the first floor. And we'll be able to do that by coming over here to the properties for the floor plan. And I'm looking for the underlay tool. Currently, that is set to none. I'm going to change that to first floor. Now I have kind of a grayed out version of all the walls on the first floor. So I can actually line walls up if I so desire. And then at any point in time, I can turn the underlay back to none and not see those walls. So I'm going to copy a few walls from the first floor to second floor instead of starting completely over. So we're going to copy this wall. I'm holding control to select extra walls here. These are the four that you will end up copying and pasting onto the second floor. In order to copy, I'm going to come up here to my clipboard tool, and here's the two pieces of paper for copying. You see that in most Windows programs. Then I'm going to go back to the second floor, and I don't want to just paste. Some of you might be familiar with the Control V shortcut to paste. And there's also a paste button here, but what I actually want to do is click the drop down underneath paste and choose paste align to current view. When I do that, it will line everything up perfectly with the view below it. So now if I take a look at the 3D mode, now I can see the walls that were copied up. Now you'll continue on by modifying some of the openings and making some additional changes and drawing in some additional walls, but just wanted to take a quick look at the copy and paste function. Now one other thing I want to mention too is why did I do it this way? Why did I make two walls instead of just making one wall? And it's based on the way things are going to be constructed. So the, the second floor is going to be laid down on top of the first floor walls and then this wall is going to be constructed separately on top of the floor. So eventually when we get our floor in here that's going to cut some of this material out and it'll appear more like it will when it's finally constructed. So again, that's just a quick look at a few tips that will help you out when creating the second floor in your Autodesk Revit project.